In this session we are going to continue work on our corridor by modeling this area to the north. Up here I have an additional traffic separator and median. Currently I don't have the alignments in the drawing that represent that geometry. They are stored in my project as data shortcuts. If I go to the prospector tab and drag down to data shortcuts and hover right here, we can see the name of the current project. It ends in four zeros and a one. In the event you're not pointing to that same project, We'll go to the Manage tab, and then I'll choose Set Working Folder. Here I'm going to go to the C drive, and then I'm going to jump down to the E folder, and then inside there is a folder called Projects. This is where my Civil 3D projects are stored. So we'll select that Projects folder, I'll click OK, and then I'll choose Set Shortcuts Folder, and I'll select my project. Let me click OK. Since I'm already pointed to the right project, I am going to open up the Alignments group, Let's open up center line alignments and let me drag the tool space over a little bit. I would like to bring in these two north median alignments, one for the left side and one for the right side. We'll do the left side first. I'll just right click and I'll choose create reference. I am going to bring this in using the F dot median edge style and I don't need labels. Let me click OK. We can see that geometry is now in the file. Let's bring in the right side. I'm going to right click create reference. I want to use the median edge style and no labels. Let me click OK. Let's zoom in. As you can see, this is nothing we haven't seen already. That means we can reuse our alignments that we used for the previous part of the corridor. Let me push the tool space back over to give me some more real estate. And we'll start by modeling this first traffic separator. I'm going to do this in a new corridor. Let me go to the Home tab, I'll launch the Corridor command, and I'm going to call this SR7-North. For my alignment, I'll choose PGL Right. For my profile, we'll choose the PGL Right proposed profile. For the assembly, we're going to use the Traffic Separator assembly we made earlier. No target surfaces, and I would like to use the Baseline and Region parameters. Let me click OK. Let's set the Start and End Station. I'm going to use the Select button for Start, I'm going to start that here down at the end of the traffic separator and then we'll come down and we'll use the select button for the end. We'll take this down to the end point. Knowing what we know now we can adjust our targets at this point. I'm going to do the PGL left link first. PGL left link is going to use the PGL left alignment for its horizontal location. This is also a vertical so let's select the profile for that. I'm going to choose the PGL left alignment, which gives me access to the PGL left proposed profile. I'll click OK. Let's take care of our left lane outside. That is going to point to the edge of traveled way left alignment. And the right lane outside is going to point to the edge of traveled way right. Let's take the left lane median edge and we will point that to the north median left alignment, the one that I just brought in. And then we are going to take the right lane median edge and we'll point that to the north median right, the other alignment I just brought in. Let me click OK and OK, OK. Let's rebuild. Everything is perfect except for the situation that we saw earlier. Let's just pull this back three hundredths. I'm going to select the corridor quickly. I'll go to corridor properties parameters and let's change the end station. I'm going to make this 57 and I'll click OK and I'll rebuild the corridor. There we go. So I've got the first half done. That's something we accomplished earlier. Now I'd like to do the area after the median here. This is going to have the exact same properties as the beginning. Wouldn't it be nice if we could copy these properties forward? Actually we can. If I select the corridor, I could use some of these shortcut icons. There's one right here, Copy Corridor Regions. Let me select that button and it says select a region to copy. Well in this corridor I only have the one region so far. Let me click inside to select this region and now it says okay specify the start station for your new region. I would like that to start at the end point here. Actually we'll go three hundredths after in just a little bit. And we'll take that down to the end point here. So that's taken care of assembly and targets. Let me press escape. The only thing I have to do is just tweak the start station here a little bit. Let me select that. We'll go to corridor properties and I'll take region 2, the start station, and we'll bump this up to 0.92. Let's click OK. We'll rebuild. 
and we'll take a look. That looks good. Next, let's add the region here in the middle. This one's going to use the median assembly. Let's do that by using the shortcut icons. I'm going to select the corridor, and then I'm going to come up and choose Add Corridor Regions. If we look down here, we can see that we can specify the start station, or I can choose fill. If I was to choose fill, it would grab the entire area between these two regions. Now in this case, I know I've got my little 300th trick here, so I'm going to choose the start and end station. Let me choose the end of that alignment, and I'll choose the end of this alignment. We're going to use the traffic median assembly, and I'll click OK, and now we'll point our targets. PGL left link, we'll go to PGL left. We're also going to take care of its profile. Then we'll do the left lane outside. right lane outside. Let's take care of the median edge on the left. And the median edge on the right. North, median, right. Let me click Add. OK. OK. Let's take a look. I need to do my 300ths here at the beginning and the end, I'm sure. Yeah, let's take care of that. I'll select the corridor. We'll go to corridor properties and we'll take this middle region and I'm going to start this 3 hundredths after the start point and I'm going to end it 3 hundredths before, so 86. When I'm finished I'll click OK. We'll rebuild the corridor. We'll take a look. There we go. We have modeled a significant portion of the corridor now in just a couple minutes. Finally, let's take a look at this with the section editor. I'm going to select the corridor by clicking on the assembly right here, and then I'll come up and choose section editor. I'm now starting at that station. At this point, I could start walking through the various assembly insertions, reviewing the slopes on all the lanes, making sure that everything follows its targeting like it should. Here we can see we're in the median. Let me get a little bit closer to that, and I'll lock the position on screen. Let's keep walking forward. We can see where this closes up and then it goes back to the traffic separator and then this goes down to the end of the line. Now that I'm finished reviewing my corridor model I'm going to click the close button to close the section editor. In the next session we'll learn how we can add a top surface to this area of our corridor model.